nesting is where it starts getting a little bit interesting. And we looked at this briefly before uh, in a slide looking at how to, have, uh, how to control uh, selectors that are descendants of other selectors. So basically, um, this can be confusing from grouping because you have the same sort of thing. You have a span and an EM right next to each other. But the difference is that here we're actually combining them um, to select nested targets. So right here there's a space, there's not a comma. So this is the difference between grouping and nesting. Nesting has no comma and it means something very, very different. Um, this doesn't mean we're going to apply the color red to both EM tags and span tags. It means we're going to apply the color of red to EM tags which are descendants of a span tag. Um, so you could kind of read this space as saying um, you're going to find a span tag which has a descendant which is an EM tag. Um, I usually tend to read CSS selectors from right to left backwards starting here because this is the one that's going to have the, the declarations applied to it and I go backwards I'll say find an EM tag which is a descendant of, the space means which is a descendant of, a span tag. Um, and then you can of course put anything that you want there. So this CSS here would match this code. It's a span tag that has an EM tag within it. It would match this area right here. Um, and only this area, um, but it would not match this uh, area here. It wouldn't match this EM tag because it's not actually a descendant of the span tag. It's not included within the span tag. Um, so furthermore, uh, with nesting rules, um, you need to remember that the selector that's the farthest to the right is the one that actually targets the element that's going to receive those styles. Um, and because you can uh, kind of combine all these rules together that we just went over, um, you can make one very complicated looking selector block that's actually composed of a lot of more simple selector blocks. Um, so for example, you will frequently uh, use grouped and multiple declaration selectors and declaration CSS rules to uh, come up with something like this. Um, so let's kind of break this down. Um, so this is kind of a simple example that we looked at before, span space em. Um, so this would just mean looking at, the, see this, uh, this comma here means that this is the end of this particular selector. And I've actually broken each selector onto its own line. So you see a comma at the end of each line and then not one here because this is the beginning of the declaration block. So this means um, the selector farthest to the right targets the element. So this means that the EM, we're going to look for an EM, which is a descendant of a span element, and then it's going to have these applied to it. This next one combines uh, just the regular uh, element naming, plus um, this is uh, the ID naming scheme, and this is a class uh, selector scheme. So this is going to find an EM, which is a descendant of a span tag, which has an ID of angry, um, because there's not a space here. Um, this means that that connects these, so it finds a span tag which has an ID of angry, and that is going to be a descendant of, that's what this space means, any element with a loud class, a class of loud. Um, so that would apply to any EM tag that, well, that meets these conditions. Um, okay, the next selector um, is going to look for another EM tag, but this one has a class of not plain. That's what this uh, period means. Same as up here. There's not a space, so it's just directly connected. It's not a not plain class, which is a descendant of an EM, because there's no space there. So we're going to find an EM with this class, which is a descendant of a span with this class. And it's going to apply to the EM, uh, or you could say it would apply to the class, but really they're the same thing because the class is in the EM. And then this is an even more complicated one. I'm not going to go through it closely, but just note that there's a space here here and here, which means that basically you're going to be looking for a, a span that's a descendant of an anchor, which is a descendant of a certain class, which is a descendant of a div with some additional um, you know, specifications on that. And then the span is what's going to receive this color and font weight. So that is nesting.